Hi there, my name's Nethergam, and today we're playing Pentiment. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. When we last left off, we were helping Otelia here, the Widow Kemperin, uh, with some chores in the hopes of ingratiating ourselves with her so that she might tell us a little bit more about why she hates Lorenz Rothvogel so much. Let's continue on with that. Let's see if we can get any juicy gossip. Hello, what else do we need? We just got some firewood for her. Let's see what we uh, need to do next. I have some mementos from Ranig here. Okay. They've gone crooked and I can't reach. Oh? Where? Could you hang them for me, Andreas? Oh yeah, sure. Easy enough. And please, be careful with my pictures. Some are very fragile. I would hate to lose them to your carelessness. Alright. No problem. Oh, I see. That's what those gray spots on the wall were about. Alright. Oh. So this goes this way then? I suppose. Oh. Why are these so crooked? Think you can hang those papers on the table? I can't reach. Yeah, you bet. Bunk, 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 bunk. <sighs> there you go. That looks all right. Thank you for hanging those. Just one thing. Uh-huh. Remove the cross. Oh, I see. Are you sure about that? Don't you Nate gainsay? Don't you gainsay me, boy. Never heard that word before. Uh, what do you plan to do with the cross? What, what do you mean? What Atelia is asking of me is sacrilegious. I don't care. <laughs> She could be forced to face a church inquis inquisitor if someone found out. I might as well simply, I might as well simply for aiding her. It's a worn old cross, and it graced the home she shared with her husband. If I destroy it, she might regret it later. What? I mean, jeez. And whatever she says, I don't believe it's the cross that's her problem. There's something more there I have yet to uncover. Taking the cross down might only cause her more pain in the long run. But if I anger her, I might miss out on information about Lorenz's death. Perhaps I could convince her to put it somewhere out of sight so it won't torment her. That might be enough. Uh. Yeah, alright. Uh, what do you plan to do with the cross? Destroy it, of course. The church never did anything for me and took nearly all I had. Why should I be made to venerate it? God is more than the church. If you deny the cross, you deny Christ. What did the church take from you? What does it matter to you? Just take take the thing down I, like I asked. Uh, Perhaps I could just move the cross to where you can't see it. Uh, if a church official discovers you destroyed a cross, it would be not good for you. I understand that you're angry and hurting now, but you might regret destroying it later. Yeah, I, like, this is brutal. <laughs> I understand that you're angry and hurting now, but you might regret destroying it later. Oh, sweet, Persuade Widow. Would your husband have wanted you to destroy the cross It blessed the home you shared together? Uh, my order background was more valuable there than showing kind special kindness to Otilia? Okay. My Ranig, he made it, you know. It always reminds me of him, for better and for worse. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you, you could move it somewhere out of view. That would be all right. Wow. Uh, is this out of view enough for you? <laughs> I'm assuming she didn't mean for me to hang this note. Oh, what is it? Whoa. This is the same handwriting. Remember your husband, the pain he carries like Job. The red bird flies, Matin's chapter. What? Uh. Uh, Ertrugder. Wrote Vogel? Does Rothvogel sort of translate to red bird? Or something close? Interesting. Der Rote Vogel Flight. Flight, I assume, is the red bird flies. Oh, huh, interesting. All right, whoa. Where did this no note come from, Otilia? 
No idea. I found it on the table the night before Rothvogel died. I can barely read it. The writing's too fancy. Keep it if you want. It means nothing to me. Absolutely. Okay. Whoa. Uh, oh, I guess I don't have to be responsible for hiding this cross. <laughs> All right. What do you got? I've got one last thing for you to do, if you are willing. A legal document. I need you to read it. The words are too small for my old eyes, and my reading's not so good. Uh, I'm I'm not an er expert in Bavarian law, but I'll do my best. Humph. <laughs> good enough for me. Uh, this? Whoa. I certainly can't read it. But... Partly because I assume it's in German. Uh, let me see here. Whoa, okay. Standard introduction. This document shows, etc., etc. This guy, this is Guy's hand. He's made it quite difficult to read. Interesting. What a surprise. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we are, the meat of the document. Oh, okay. <laughs> It says, oh, due to the recent death of Rannick Kemper, his lack of heirs to inherit, your inability to pay fees on the land, oh no, your property is forfeit to the church. I'm sorry, Otilia. Ah! <laughs> that, that devil, that monster. This is all the far fault of Lorenz Rothvogel. What, why? If he were alive, I'd kill him myself. May he boil in hell for all eternity. Uh, your hatred to the church, did you know this would happen? I think it's time you tell me what happened with the Baron. Ranig, my husband, he caught that Rothvogel devil riding through our property and told him, rightly, to leave. The Baron beat my Ranig for it, beat him so savagely that he took a cane to walk. Whoa. Even his breathing pained him. Never could breathe uh, deep so long as he lived, which wasn't long at all. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound like the runs I know, but I don't really. <laughs> Good God. That Baron was the worst kind of man, careless and cruel. He knew he could beat my Rannig and suffer no consequences, so he did. We were not even so low as animals to him. We were furniture. And I knew. I knew after Rannick died, the church would try to take what t little I had left. This document only confirms it. All because of Lorenz Rothvogel. Uh, she definitely didn't kill him, but... You know, that's a pretty compelling reason for you to have killed him. You said yourself you'd do it if you could. Who's to say you haven't already? Finally, some honesty from you. This was the real purpose of your visit all along. I'm an old woman, Andreas. Even walking from my bed to the door pains me. How could I kill a man in his prime? Not that it matters. I'm sure I'll take the blame for it anyway. Just like I'm blamed for every runny nose and thrown horseshoe around here. The people in town can't wait for me to die, and the Abbey vultures eat me for my contempt of them. None of it matters. I don't care what happens to me anymore. Thank you for your help, boy. You're the only one who's come calling since my Rannick passed. Do you know? Now get out. I need to lie down. <laughs> oh, good Jimmy. Of course, I was ha glad to help. Man, that's brutal. I mean, I almost wonder if uh, Rothvogel... Uh, I should find somebody to eat with, of course. I almost wonder if Rothvogel didn't have anything to do with Rannig, only because that almost seems like something somebody might have pretended to do in order to soil Rothvogel's name. But that was long ago, I assume. Maybe not long ago, but it wasn't yesterday. Because he definitely seemed like he didn't recognize her when he 
as we were passing through. Now, he could have just been pretending, but I can almost see that as like a plot, part of the plot. You know, somebody like trying to soil his name or sour his name, and then they're the ones who ultimately killed him. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what's up, Hetty? Hey, Andreas. Do you have dinner plans? You should join us for a meal. I'm sure. I'd like that. Lead the way, Hetty. That's what I like to hear. I'm starving. All right, who are all these people? This is Johan. Oh, okay, these are the Bowers. Oh, bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Hi. There's been some chaos up at the Abbey, hasn't there, Andreas? Could hear those bells ringing clear across the valley. Sounded like the monks were mustering for war. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you haven't heard. A man was murdered. The Baron Rothvogel. Oh, good riddance. You won't find many in Tassine crying over one dead nobleman. I can't believe you haven't heard, Johan. Have you had your head in the dirt? <laughs> I don't attend to gossip. That's your job. <laughs> wow. You're damned right. <laughs> I, uh, I'll admit this has me interested. A murder in at, at an abbey. How did it come to pass? Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. My mentor, Brother Piero, was found with the body. But he's too frail to have done the deed. Uh, what do I have here? Ooh, we got fresh pottage. I'm not entirely sure what that is. I feel like I've heard of it, but I'm not sure how it's made. Uh, chicken and a poached egg. Oof, man, this, look, this looks good. I think we're going to start with this pottage. Is that related to porridge? Or is it... Grizzly, what about blood? Was it everywhere? <laughs> oh, buckets of it. Uh, some. Too bad. Tell me about the wound. Could you see it? Wow. Jesus, Mom. <laughs> I'm only curious. It's not every day a man's murdered in broad daylight. What if I need to protect myself? You're being weird, Mom. Weird and drunk. Whoa. Oh, I guess it is dinner. Uh-huh. Do you have any idea who might have done the deed, if not this brother, Piero? The bead. Uh, the Baron had enemy, enemy, many enemies. I'm pursuing that question at this very moment. Yeah, I mean, this is very true. The Baron had many enemies in town and at the Abbey. How scandalous to think that any Tassian resident might be a murderer. Don't say that. Buck up, son. A noble killer won't take an interest in you. Wow. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Whoever killed the Baron has to be dumb as rocks. <laughs> or very angry. Um, does anyone come to mind, Johan? No. And I wouldn't tell you if they did. No good can come of whatever it is you're up to, Andreas. <laughs> Trying to find a man's killer? Yeah, God forbid. Once the church and the nobility get involved, all that the pe all the peasants are going to get is shit. From one end or the other, it doesn't matter which. Gross, Dad. <laughs> all right, uh, let's get into this poached egg because that sounds incredible. What? I'm right. Hans thinks I'm right, don't you, son? Always, Dad. <laughs> At least God granted me one respectful child. Ugh, what a suck-up. <laughs> Speaking of the church, has Johann told you about how the abbot's out of ruin... Uh, out to ruin our lives? No. Ugh, we were supposed to expand our farm but the abbot's taxes make it impossible. We can't grow enough barley to feed ourselves, pay the miller's toll, and give the abbey its due. Okay. It's not Christian! Uh, yeah, I agree. It's not right the way you and the rest of the farmers are treated. That's right! 
now that Rannick Kemper's kicked the bucket. The old witch's land will be forfeit soon. Once Otelia's gone, her land will be available for us to purchase, God willing. Not if Uncle France gets to it first. France? France is... Oh, right, Martin's father, I think. I can't believe you. She's an old lady living all alone. Well, you haven't gone to visit her, evidently. We should be looking after her, not picking scraps from her corpse. Shut up, Jesus. <laughs> How dare you speak to your father that way? Uh, should I? <laughs> you want my advice? Stay out of it. They always get like this after more than an hour in the same room. All right. Uh, let me get some, some of this uh, chicken. Chimkins. I feel sorry for Otelia. God help me. We're going to have a very serious conversation about your attitude, Veronica. <laughs> You're in for it now. Eat shit, Hans. <laughs> Dang. All right, that's it. Andreas, it's been great, but I need to have a talk with my ungrateful children. See yourself out. Uh, yeah. Be nice to your sister, Hans. Your heart's in the right place, Veronica. I wish I get, wouldn't get my hide tanned for it. Yeah, I think Veronica's got the right idea. One day remains till what? Time to get back to work. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying my best here. There's Hans. I do like Hans. He's cute. Uh, Town Commons. The Gertner Farm. Uh, let's... I'm gonna... I'm heading back to the Abbey, I think. How's it going, Otto? Hey, Andreas. I gotta see what's up. What's up, Klaus? How you doing? Hello, Andreas. Father Thomas, how are you? God be with you, Andreas. Okay. Meadow. Hey, Till, you're still out here, eh? Hello, Master Baller. Good talk. Lower Abbey. Let me head into the... Well, let's go to the chapter house and see what if... Yeah, this I was... I was I noticed and I was curious about. This blood stain is awful. It must have been left by the Baron before he died. But how? Yeah, I'm really curious about that. Also, what's this? A Dance of Death mural. Father Matthias had, had it painted a few years before his death. It's beautiful. Dance of Death. An artistic allegory on the constancy of death. Illustrations often feature people from every station of society to communicate that death inevitably claims everyone, from the peasant to the emperor. Sweet. Father Matthias, abbot of Kirsau, before Father Gernot, widely respected by the monks and nuns as well as the people of Tassin, known for his kindness and his love of books. Okay. A Dance of Death mural. Yep. Same deal. Large garden. Oh, wait. Ugh, Gernot. So they clean up that all up? They clean... Because he was what? Right here? Okay. But they didn't clean up the wall, which is weird. All right, what's up, Gernot? Andreas. <laughs> Good talk, dude. All right. Hi. What's the easiest way to get to the scriptorium? Oh, hi. Hello. Volkbert. Good day, Andreas. Yeah, I suppose. Um, I think if I go through the dormitory... Is that right? That will take me to the old Bailey? Yeah. Cool. Oh, it's you. What's up, guy? Good day, Andreas. And Ferenc, huh? What are you doing? Ah, Andreas. What an awful time. Awful time. A baron murdered at Kiersau. These are dark days indeed. Brother Piero, I admit, 
I would have never thought him the type. What could have possessed him? Um, the devil can make monsters, even the holiest man, brother. Be frank. Pierre's half a step from the grave. You really think he could have killed that? You can't believe Brother Piero would kill the Baron. It's not his. Uh, I feel like. I mean, we we have evidence. I mean, I don't know if I can start talking about all the evidence I got in an investigation I wasn't supposed to be part of. But let's go with this. He might. I think he might respond well to this. The devil can make monsters of even the holiest men, Prior for rank. But Piero. All men are weak to Satan's temptations, Andreas, even old men. But you have come to me for a reason. Do you need something? Um. Scriptorium, a room for writing, illustration, illustrating, and illuminating manuscripts. Though typically associated with monasteries, they have disappeared from almost all abbeys by the 16th century. Oh, cool. Um. This is a weird time to confront him about this, but let's go for it. You rushed into the scriptorium and hid something strange at your desk. Pardon? And why were you sneaking about the scriptorium? Uh, you mean the place where I work? What was it some kind of disc? Can I ask questions too? What was so important you had to be late for terse? I wasn't sneaking. I dropped a bottle of paint on the floor and I was cleaning it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, I could have left it there if you'd preferred. The floor is rather drab in the scriptorium. Wow. I get more work done while you and the rest of the brothers are at church. Yeah, that's fair. Let us seek a common understanding, Master Mahler, as two brothers in Christ. Please, let's. I love to understand things. <laughs> uh. The scriptorium is my domain, and you are a guest here. And so long as that is true, I do not answer to you, but the abbot only. Is that clear? Uh, wow, that seems savage. But, uh, yeah, I suppose. Praise be. Will that be all from you then? For now. Be well, Prior Ferenc. Bless you, Master Mahler. <laughs> sure. Uh, hey, Doc, how you doing, buddy? God bless you, Andreas. Alright, guess I'm not doing much, uh, illustrating right now. That's not the work I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting at. So, who's the abbot? That's... That's, uh, Gernot, right? Oh! Ooh, he had a note and he tried to burn it. Ooh. Someone was in a hurry to get rid of this parchment. Dang. Another thing about red birds? Smells recent. Probably wasn't burned more than a day ago. Surely you can read that. How do I get to my thing? Here we go. Uh Oh, this is like my Why can't I That's weird. Why can't I choose those things on the left? I guess that's just those are my, the choices I made, I suppose. Uh, yes, Andreas knows some Dutch and French. Okay. Um, Gertner's taxes done. The Baron and the Nun. Mother Cecilia reacted poorly to the Baron's appearance at the Abbey. Could she have something to do with his murder? To find out what her history is. She's usually in the Prioress's house in the convent. Okay. Interesting. So I don't I don't know if I can check on the list of stuff that I've gathered from what I can tell. Wait, what was this? 
the flood. Oh, yeah. So, like, I don't think I can... I'm surprised he didn't read that, but whatever. Hmm. There are deep indentations in this parchment. Whoever wrote on the page above, it must have been angry. I wonder if I could make a charcoal rubbing of this page and reveal the content of the writing. Yeah. Baron Rothvogel. Saw German. And then Innsbruck. <laughs> uh. Aha! Clear as an alpine day. It's a letter to the Baron from Prior Ferenc. My god. Lorenz was blackmailing Ferenc to get him to perform some kind of occult ritual. What? Whoa. No wonder Ferenc was so unsettled when Lorenz arrived. The Baron could have gotten him executed for witchcraft. Whoa. Yep. Those two dudes. Wow. Okay. The plot thickens. But there's this, right? Yeah. I still don't know how to connect the elemental symbols on the Vuvele with the astro astrological symbols in the cipher. Until I figure out the connection, I can't decipher the note I found in Frank's book. I can! <laughs> I found the secret passage in the crypt. There has to be a book on the library I can use to figure this out. If I can find some way into the library, I'm sure there's a book. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I found the secret passage in the crypt. There has to be a book in the library I could use to figure this out. Sister Illuminata is in there most of the day. Perhaps I can find a way in after dark. And if all else fails, perhaps I can ask Werner Stoltz. He lives off the North Commons. I have a sense he doesn't like me much, but... I'll find a way to get the information out of him. <laughs> no, let's get that book. Hello? Don't give me this. I 100% can figure this out. Come on now. Come on now. Can't we? I mean, come on. Let me play with it. Still, I, until I figure out the connection, I can't decide whether or not I found Frank's book. Man, come on now. <laughs> This is obviously a fairly straightforward cipher. I mean, it's not super straightforward, right? Because you have the astrological symbols up at the top. That probably has to do with what, uh, how I'm supposed to rotate the thing. But come on. <laughs> let me figure that out. Just let me roll it around for a while. I'll work it out. Uh, all right, whatever. Let's see about getting into the... Man, he wants me to do it after dark? Oh, what's up, Matthew? God bless you, Andreas. Thanks. Can't go into the sacristy. Go to the little Bailey dormitory. Tower. Well, that's very cool. Crypt. Abbot Dietrich, I think I saw that already. So yeah, I could go into the library, but I assume I'll get yelled at. And that might that might keep me from being able to go into the library in the future. So I assume I don't want to do that right now. Hi, Rudiger. God bless you, Andreas. Aquarium, Upper Abbey. Oyster. All right. Hmm. Yeah, let's go find... Um, let's go find C Cecilia? Is that her name? How's it going, Gertrude? God bless you, Master Mahler. Cool. Matilda? God bless you, Master Mahler. I don't know if we've met. Well, not in the game, anyway. Sister Matilda, how are you doing? Mother Cecilia doesn't like us talking to men unless it's necessary to perform our work. Ah, 
Forgive me. Sorry to bother you. Thank you, Master Molly. Fair enough. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you all to it. I needed to talk to Cecilia anyhow. Who is not here? Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, no men allowed, right? Yeah. Okay. Cecilia, the prioress's house. Hello. God bless you, Andreas. God bless you, Mr. Mother Cecilia. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, boy. I need to talk to you again about the Baron, how you walked away with the sisters when he arrived. Given that the Baron was just murdered, it seems worth inquiring about the cause. Whoa, murdered! Why? Do you not trust in the Abbot's judgment? Uh, it's not the Abbot's judgment that matters, but the Archdeacon's. What do you mean? It's not that, I just want to understand what's happened. Brother Piero, he couldn't hurt, he wouldn't hurt a mouse. Why am I talking about the Archdeacon's judgment? What does that have to do with anything? Ugh, what? Oh, now I'm confused. Uh, I don't really know her character. Is she going to respond to this? The whole, like, Piero wouldn't seems like a silly argument, considering the fact that Piero didn't. Like, I feel like we have evidence. Do you seems kind of pointed. Yeah, let's ask that. Do you? That is not an answer, Andreas. You must be careful how you ask and answer questions right now. Fair enough. The abbot does not want anything to inf interfere with the archdeacon's investigation. That includes you. Uh, how do you feel about interfering with it? Then help me. Help you what? Blame someone else for the murder? <laughs> uh, you know that Piero didn't murder the baron. It had to have been someone else. I will not condemn someone else to death. What? <laughs> As opposed to what? Uh, condemnation is for the archdeacon and God, not us. There's no sin in us bringing truth to light. I am a simply a nun. Why do you think I can help you? You know what happens better than that? Uh, happy better than anyone? So you reacted when the Baron arrived. You must know something about what's going on. Yeah, let's do that. I saw you reacted when the Baron arrived. You must know something about what's going on. All right. I did have reason to be concerned about Baron Rothvogel's presence. The Baron caused irreparable harm to one of the sisters on his last visit. Whoa, really? The damage was severe enough that she had to leave us for some time. I think I understand. Um... What kind of harm? Irreparable. That is why I removed the sisters from his presence as soon as I could. Uh... She's not gonna let me do that. No. Let's just, yeah. Which sister? Can I speak with her? I... No, Andreas. I don't think that would be appropriate. Um... All right, this doesn't help me much if I don't know what happened or to whom. I understand this is less information than you likely wanted, but I do not think I can tell you any more in good conscience. Trust me when I say that the victim of this incident could not have killed the Baron. I need more than that. Are there any records on her, on what happened? Yes, we keep records on the sisters in the library, on all the sisters in the library. Not that it does you any good, you're not allowed. Uh, c could I ask Sister Illuminata to see them? She won't give them to you. Our records aren't available for outsiders to look through. I can sneak in on my own, you know. No. Uh, Sister Illuminata told me there's a secret entrance into the library. Wow. Oh, and do you know where it is? Yes. Oh, wow, okay, never mind. I guess I'm just saying, I'm gonna sneak in anyway. Yes, I found it while exploring the crypt. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> Don't try it. You'll be caught, and we'd be lucky if the abbot only banished you from the abbey until Judgment Day. <laughs> uh, you're probably right. <laughs> hmm. Uh, uh, you're probably right. God bless you, Mother Cecilia. May God bless you, Andreas Mahler. All right, irreparable harm. Interesting. Man, all right, so now I kind of have two reasons to go into the library. All right, but I, let's sneak into the library, I know. But I think that's gonna have to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. When I come back with more Pentiment, we will, I guess, maybe sneak into the library. We'll find out. But uh, man, there's, there's so much to try to remember and, and navigate all of these conversations with everybody without messing it all up. Complicated. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you all again. Have a good one. Okay, bye! Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.